Good morning, everyone. Today is the 26th of April, 2022. It's Tuesday morning. I hope you are having a good week so far. You know, it's very important to realize that what a person believes Uh, is is not only important, but the origin of what we believe is, is important as well. We've often said that from the womb to the tomb, our beliefs are, are shaped by uh, the origin of where those beliefs come from. What a person believes. What we believe either comes from God or Satan or self or a combination of all three. Well, why is it that some people believe in uh, Allah as their God? Why is it that some people uh, deny the existence of a God? Why is it that some people are immersed in the Hindu religion or Confucianism? Why is it that some people embrace the Christian religion? Is it just because of their culture? Now, a person believes that there are many paths to God, then their beliefs are originating from a lot of different sources. Scripture tells us, broad is the way that leads to destruction, and many there be that find it. Narrow is the way that leads to life eternal, and few there be that find it. The only way you're going to find life eternal is through the one who gives life, spiritual life, and that is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ proclaimed, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. There's only one mediator between God and man, and that is the man Christ Jesus. Now, we can hear those words, or we can hear those words read to us, But the question is, do we believe it? And if we do believe it, where does that belief come from? It doesn't come from just hearing the words read. Because we have many things read to us. You know, we get many emails every day from different people proclaiming different things. Just because we read something doesn't mean we believe everything we read. At least I hope that's not the case. And the question we have to ask ourselves, does we know that all people do not believe the same thing. We see that evident in all the different religions and all the cultures throughout the world. And we know that everyone does not believe that Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven. Many people don't even believe there's a heaven or a hell. So the question that we must ask ourselves is, how is it that we, as Christians, lay hold on and embrace the gospel? How is that? Scripture tells us that all men have not faith. You know. And 
sometimes we get discouraged what we have to go through in life and sometimes our faith is weak <laughs> but Christ said if you have faith as a grain of mustard should you be able to say to this mountain be thou removed and cast into the sea where does that faith of, of a grain of mustard seed come from well it's like we've said often on this broadcast that Jesus Christ is the author and finisher of our faith. For the joy that was set before him, he endured the cross, and he despised the shame and is set down at the right hand of the Father of God. You know. But God does not give everyone faith. The only one, the only ones that receive faith of Christ are the ones that have been given it by God himself by grace are you say are you saved through faith not of works lest any man should boast it's a gift of God all glory and honor and power and wisdom and might go to Jesus Christ He's the one who went to the cruel and rugged cross of Calvary and died on the cross and shed his blood for his people. That was why he came into this world to save his people from their sins. And he did it. It was accomplished at the cross. Love is best, demonstra Let love is best demonstrated by the giver of faith to his people. There's no greater love that can be given to God's people than the gift of faith. To believe on his son and believe that he died for, for us personally. There's a gospel song that says, I believe that Jesus died and that he died for me. <clears throat> We know that Jesus died on the cross. It's a historical fact. We know that he rose from the dead. It's a historical fact. We know he ascended back to heaven. It's a historical fact. But the question is, did he die for us individually? So God does not uh, love everyone. If he loved everyone, he'd give everyone the gift of faith. You know. And Jesus Christ proclaims himself as the great shepherd of the sheep. He says, my sheep hear my voice and they follow me. And no man can pluck them out of my hand and no man can pluck them out of my father's hand. So... He also says that to those Pharisees that were so condemnatory of him, he said, you are of your father the devil and the works of your father you will do. And so that's what's on my mind this morning is we give all the glory to God for the faith that he has he has given us and we thank him and praise him for this wonderful gift that he's given us may the good lord be with you today in a special way is my prayer god bless